Hey y'all, hey. So it has been about three months since I launched my blog, queensandmalorn.com. And a few of you have asked why a blog? What made me want to start a blog, especially after starting a YouTube channel? And in all honesty, it all goes back to my girlhood. I've always been interested in liberal arts, performing arts, reading, writing, storytelling. And when my parents noticed these interests, I am so just grateful and thankful that they nourished them um, when I was young. And every summer, my parents would give me summer reading. My dad always bought me a book um, over the summertime for me to read. And these books were always about women, iconic women, iconic black women who had made their way in the world of what I was interested in. So every summer I was reading about Maya Angelou, Zora Neale Hurston. I was watching film of Angela Davis give her speeches um, at colleges and universities across America. I was learning about Diane Carroll, Diana Ross, Josephine Baker, just these iconic women um, in the literary space and in the performance space. And those readings showed me the power of storytelling and the power of women preserving our stories, telling our stories either from our perspective or sharing the perspective of other women around us and telling their stories. Just It just taught me so much about using your voice and giving information that you have learned um, to the next generation of women behind you. And really the concept of pulling each other up the ladder as you climb. And I knew that that was something that I wanted to do. As a girl, I didn't exactly know how to go about it, what it would look like, um, really thinking years ahead into my adulthood. But I knew that storytelling and reading the stories of other women gave me um, motivation. I knew that it inspired me and I knew that that was something that I wanted to be a part of. So as I've gotten older, as I myself have matriculated through the titles of being a single woman, being a wife, being a mom, I've noticed that the digital creators that I enjoy following, influencers that I enjoy following, um, they all have a blog. They all have some sort of ownership in the digital space where they share their stories, where they share their content. And that is when the light bulb clicked for me. And I said, if I want to share my stories and my life lessons and the stories and life lessons of other women, I'm going to create a blog and that is going to be my space to do that storytelling and to build that community. And the whole mantra of my blog, queentaylorlorne.com, is for women to have graciousness in every season of life as we matriculate through the titles of queen, wife, and mama. So no matter where you are in life, there's a spot for you here. And I'm so excited to build this community. I'm so excited to share your stories and to highlight um, three different women every month, a queen, a single girl, a wife, and a mom, and really just share our stories, y'all, and give advice and be a beacon of hope for the next generation of girls coming after us, for the next generation of women coming after us. There's so much power um, in community among women and I'm excited to be a part of that and I'm excited to build that. And I'm so thankful <laughs> to my parents for noticing that interest in me and, and for nurturing it in my girlhood and for exposing me to women that look like me who really made their way in the world um, by telling their stories and preserving the stories of others. So I will see y'all on the blog.